Welcome, welcome, welcome back to Mega Man X4. I'm your host, Link to the Best Zero. And if you guys have been watching for a while, uh, I hate to say it, but uh, I've had some, I've been having a couple of issues over the last few days. So, um, as you've probably noticed, if you've been watching my Twitch streams, yesterday I actually had a little bit of a problem. If you, if you're watching on Twitch, that uh, you probably saw that little uh stunt that was uh my Deadpool Let's Play without the video game audio. That was fun. So. I'm back today. Uh, we will. I am doing this. I'm doing this stream directly from my PS4, versus trying to stream from the capture card. And um, I am currently in a completely different room than my than what I typically stream in. So there might be some audio differences or some different shit that might affect the audio a little bit. <laughs> so bear with me. Um, hopefully, it won't be that big of a deal. But if it is, ah, we'll tr I'll try to get it fixed um, in the next stream. But for now, we're just going to jump right in. We're going to continue with our playthrough with Zero. Um, the plan is we're going to try to beat it, get at least up to the final stage with Zero. Um, I don't know if we will get to Sigma, but I want to try to at least get to the final stages. Okay, so we're here. Got that. Uh, I think our next. I'm trying to think. What is our next move? Because Cyber Peacock is weak against Magma Dragoon. He's weak against Cyber Peacock, and he's just a bitch. So, what I might end up doing is I think I might go for Magma Dragoon. Only because of the fact that Magma Dragoon is kind of a... You can fight him with the fucking mech. Well, let's jump in. How you doing, guys? How you doing? Welcome to the stream. He betrayed the irregular hunters and hid himself inside a volcano. Ready. Here we go. I always love this stage. I love the music for it. I just like the fact that it's the, the entire game, the entire stage is you're actually fighting your way through a fucking volcano. One thing, if, if you haven't, if you one thing cool about this game is that, similar to like some of the other X games, you can actually affect the stage with if you have the right weapon. It's not over yet. <coughs> oh, shit, I'm out of it today. Fuck me. Booyah. Stage two. Good. Take it. Get the heart tank. Yeah. Oh, 
fucking A. Okay, right here. Like I said, if you guys have never seen that before, you can actually, during if you grab the right armor and you carry it all the way here, you can start the fight with Magma Dragoon with your right armor. Which makes the first hat or the first, which makes it easier for the first part of the fight. Zero, it's really you. Why'd you betray us? Answer me, Dragoon! I have no answer for you, my friend. Dragoon! Shit! I'm so fucking close! God damn it! Got a little too overzealous. I'll, I, I, I'll be honest with you, I got a little overzealous. <laughs> I forget what his, what his weakness is with Zero. Yeah, that's not ice. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye, Dragoon. <coughs> Goodbye, Dragoon. I wanted to defeat you. Then he appeared. He? Who? He told me he'd give me power. Only if I worked for Repliforce. What? I couldn't refuse the offer. Sorry, Zero. Dragoon! I always loved Dragoon. He's always my he's always been one of my favorite Maverick Mavericks in this in these games. Because he didn't go Maverick. He never he never went Maverick. A lot of the other a lot of the other like Reploids that you fight in the games, you could say that they never went went Maverick, but he was one of the few that never that didn't truly go Maverick. All he wanted was a straight up fight with X at zero. His, his, in my, whichever one you play as, you can play as X or Zero, and you'll still get the same result. And he all, and he just basically, he pretty much, he joined, he joined Repliforce and literally sent, he was the one that, that started the entire shit, the entire incident with Anasia and everything else. He was the one that started it all, and the entire reasoning was, was that he wanted to fight Zero and X. Powerful attack that burns enemies with flames. Some objects may burn be burned with this technique. Yep. Which I can actually go back to. <coughs> I can actually go back to the start of his stage, which I'm going to. I'm going to go back to the start of his stage because I can activate exit anytime. I can activate escape now. Huh. 
good. I'll take the extra lives. Just like that. So we're going to use the escape option to get out. <clears throat> it'll give us our, it'll keep us our lives. And give us the life tank that we, or the life, the life up that we got. That's good. It's not a lot, but it, it'll definitely help. And cyberspace. That's, this is the fun one. This is a interesting one. <laughs> he lives in cyberspace and wants to destroy the network system. I always did hated this stage, just because the fact that the way this game, the way the way this stage is designed, it's designed. Shit! I forgot about that. God damn it! Come on! Ah! I'm gonna have to come back for this one. So I think that was a B ranking. Oh, that was an A ranking? Ah! Ah, you stupid piece of shit. There was one thing I always hated about this stage was because of those bolt was was the was those was those gloves. Because those gloves hit you, they stun you for a while, and they actually do a quite a bit of damage, and the only way to destroy them is with mushroom is with mushroom's attack. Which with X X's version of mushroom attack is a lot easier to perform than, than Zero's, because you can perform it on the ground. And that's how you uh, you actually, in order to get, I believe, X's armor part, I believe the third, you have to, I believe you have to get an S rank on the first one. No, the first one you get X's, uh, you get an extra life. First one you get an extra life, second one you get a heart container, and the second one, and the third one you get a, you get the third, uh, thing. Come on, bitch. Gotcha. Whoa, I forgot about that shit. Fucking hey. Yeah, the one bad thing about this is the fact that. stage actually isn't that difficult it's just the first half if you're actually going for the s ranks it's just kind of a pain in the butt but that's the one thing that's good about this game is especially with zero early on your your stage selection is very important because of the fact that you don't have any of the movement options and you have to get your movement options from the bosses so if you don't pick the right stages you actually hurt yourself in the long run because you have no movement like, you don't get the ability to dash in the air, you don't get your double jump. X gets all that shit passively just by, like, he he gets the ability to dash in the air and hover by doing, by just doing halfway through spider stage. 
Zero has more movement options if you get if you make it far enough into the game. I'm impressed you made it this far. But you can't beat me. Get ready. Come on, bitch. Let's go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let's go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He has Spark Man. He suffers from Spark Mandrum Syndrome badly. It's like it's stupid. This fight is easy as shit with with Zero. It's actually a lot harder with X because of the fact that Zero's because Zero's is. Because Zeros comes out a lot faster, and he actually moves forward with it a little bit. So it allows you to back away and then activate it. X's go straight up. So you practically have to be right next to the guy if he's on the ground. But if he's in the air, you'll fuck his ass up. And then Zero gets his Giga, giga Attack. Rakuhoha. Giga Attack button on the ground. The ultimate special attack that channels all stored energy into one blast. Use this move selectively as it consumes energy. Zero's one and only energy-based special move in this game. But there's two parts to it. One, it makes him completely invincible while using. And two, it hits everything. So while it is a it is a very it, it does use energy, I believe you can only use it four times if you don't if you don't have any Yeah, I think I believe it's four times if you don't have the if if you don't use any weapon energy for it. Uh, you get four times with it. But the like I said, the one cool the one good thing about it is that you you do gain invisibility while using it, which allows you to survive some attacks. He left the space force. He slept with the space force fortress to conquer the air. Blah, 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 blah. I can't fucking talk. Ready. This fucking stage. <laughs> this right armor. God, no! Get ready. Get ready! Like I said, it, it hits everything. Once a pellet hits something, it'll disappear. But it does allow you to do a good... It does allow you to have, like, some... Some sort of a, attack if you are in a position where you need to fucking deal with something. Bye -bye. I always I always felt it was really funny how that stage transition works. Whereas all the other ones, the actually the stage you actually can continue to the next stage. In this one, you physically warp to the next stage. It just it always confused the fuck out of me. Gotcha. 
あれいやいやコンベッチコモンアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイクスアップウェルドスパイ
Enhanced Z Saber. You can cut enemy energy shots with your saber. But, um, like Spider, the biggest thing is, is that X actually has an easier fight with him because X can ju X can climb or whereas Zero has to jump up and get close to him and just hope has to jump up and didn't has to actually hit him with the sword. Unless you have like some of your upgrades that make getting to him a little easier, X actually has the better fight because he can fight him from long range. While the long range option does mean that he can't deal with the spiders in the second phase of the fight, like I said, it makes it so that he can he can take less damage in the first phase. Whereas like Walrus, Walrus, it basically comes down to personal preference. I think Zero's version of Walrus is actually a joke. Versus X, the only reason it the, the only reason is is that Zero can deal so much fucking damage to him. He can take him down before he Zero can actually take him down without the without the, without his weakness weapon. He can actually take him down quite quickly if you if you can time his moves correctly. He can take him down before he actually enters the second phase of the fight. With X. X can't do the damage with it. Stingray, X actually has a, has an easier fight there because of the fact that uh, the entire the entire fight is based around your ability to um, is your ability uh, he actually is your ability to use your special attack. Zero has to be above his enemy to really, for it to really affect them. X his is basically a she is a giant shield type thing. Um. Storm Peacock, I already talked about it, where Z Zeros travels a little bit more, a little bit farther forward, and it also affects the enemies that are on the ground. Whereas X's travels straight up, so it has there's not as much wiggle room there. Dragoon, I don't remember what his weakness is, with this weapon is, but I always it's it's one of those things where I always have fun fighting him, no matter who I'm playing as, X or Zero. Zeros is a little bit more hectic because because of the fact that Dragoon has a lot of has a lot of close quarters attacks. He's not just shot based like some of the other bosses in this game. Um, Mushroom, Mushroom actually X uh, they're they're basically tied because it all depends on when you fucking use the ability. Zero Zeros is when he jump when he comes off the wall. You have to you have to use your you have to use your lightning blade twice. Raiken, Raiken, the first one, the first one is when his clones start coming out, so you defeat a few of them, and the second one is just as he's about to jump off the wall, you hit it again, which will allow you to deal a lot of damage to him. With X, you don't have to do that, it's literally jump up, as soon as he clips to the wall, jump up, spider. X can do that, can do it a lot easier, because he doesn't have, because if he messes up, if he messes up, he, it's not that big a deal. With zero, if he messes up the timing, he's gonna get hurt. Plain and simple, it's gonna happen. Um, and Storm Owl, zero has the tougher fight because of the fact that his he only gets four shots with his special weapon. So, like I was doing there, a lot of you have to actually fight Storm Owl a little bit, which the early phase is not that difficult. It's the set. It's when he gets into the second phase and he starts bringing out the green orbs and actually shooting them out is when you actually have to fucking worry about or when he starts using his wind action wind attacks but x uh, but he only but you only get four shots x gets um from a storm peacock um or cyber peacock x actually gets a uh a like a not a homing laser yeah but he gets he basically gets a laser that you basically control that allows you to lock on to your enemies, and when you hit, and it, once it locks on, you pull the trigger and it shoots them. It doesn't do a shit ton of damage, but it basically, it basically, it allows you to, it basically allows you to cancel out anything Storm Eagle, Storm Owl actually tries to do. Because as soon as Storm Owl actually tries anything, you shut him down. And then this fight with Zero, it's it's an actual fight because. His weakness that the his weakness is something you don't get as zero, and it's storm. It's um, mandrakes, or it's it's rays. 
it's um, Storm Ray's um, ability. With, um... What is it? Oh, what the fuck am I thinking? Yeah, it's, um, once you, uh... With zero, you get you get the dash in the air. With X, you gain the, uh... You gain, um... You shoot out Storm Rays that trips him up. He defends the military train to protect the supply of goods. Yeah, it basically comes down to it where... Zero is definitely the more you have to you have to actually be kind of good with him, but at the same time, the one good thing about Zero is that he is so rewarding to play because, like, right there, you can you can decimate enemy forces and decimate bosses if you know what you're doing. Plus. Unlike X, Zero gets a lot more movement options by the end of the game. Once he start, once he actually gains the double jump and the area and the aerial dash, he can actually do more in terms of moving than X can. Something that X has, because X has um. The only thing X has is a get is a dash jump or an air dash, and then he has a hover that he can use. Which the hover is good. Like against Colonel, it's almost a must-have against in the fight against Colonel when you fight uh when you fight Colonel. Colonel. Because the fact that Colonel is so fucking quick at times. And when I if I do the fucking X playthrough, you guys will see what I mean. But Colonel will actually Colonel has a, pen of a tendency of just hitting his attacks so goddamn quick that you that you can't just you he has a tendency of jumping or coming right to you and then just attacking you attacking you attacking you with that a bit with with the ability to hover you can just stay out of his reach just long enough for him to finish his attack screen attack string and then you can retaliate. You and this fight is a joke with zero. Like I said, it's a fucking joke. Where X has to actually take out the spikes and actually hit the damn things. Zero can literally just jump over there. Uppercut. Uppercut. Dead. Slash Beast is actually the toughest fight in the Zero, in my opinion. Of the, of the, of the eight Mavericks. Of the eight Ma Mavericks, I think Sla I always saw, I always saw Slash Beast as the hardest ma as, uh, as the hardest boss to fight. Of the true, of like the Maverick bosses. Because you have, you do have, you have to fight with Colonel, which is tep it is a tougher fight than Slash Beast, but it's not as bad. Since you, most of you guys have not didn't see my uh, my failure of a stream last last night, I'll go ahead and get, I'll go ahead and plug what I was what I said last time. Um, come November third, I will be doing an extra life stream. Um, if you guys don't know what extra life is, it is a charity. It is it's a charity event to uh, straight. You're I'm raising money for Miracle the Miracle Children's Network. Which, which I've never, I, I've always been kind of a, not a big stickler, but I have done 
some shit with charity in the back back in the in the past. I was a part of Relay for Life a lot when I was a uh, when I was in my youth, so I did do some charity through that. And I've also done some uh, things for my local homeless shelter, raising money for them. So um, I do have a little bit of experience doing it. But uh, like I said, the coming November third, I will be doing a live stream, a 24-hour live stream for that. I don't know what, um, the game that I'm planning on doing is I'm going to be playing, um, Ape Escape 3 for the 24 hours. I don't know if I will be doing it for the full, full 24 hours. Um, the plan is, is that I will be playing, I will, when I beat Ape Escape 3, the stream will end. So, we, it'll basically, de it'll all depend on how long it takes me to beat Ape Escape 3. But, uh... I will, I will be playing that game to with Gru through its entirety. <sighs> you dare to attack my unit? I'm gonna enjoy fighting you. Okay, I'm using it. I'm using it. Fuck no! Ooh! Ah, that would have fucking ended badly. You fucked up. Bah! You should have ended it when you had the chance. Actually, I'll be honest with you. If I had not, if I had not activated my energy tank, I would have died there. I would have. I forgot that he does that attack. You won't believe, you would not believe, guys, how many times when I was younger, how many times I died to that guy. Special move button while dashing. You can execute a powerful dash blade attack. Approach your enemy with the soup, Shapuga, and perform a combo. But, uh, the one, like I said, like I said, guys, the plan is, is that I will be doing that 24 hour stream. It'll be, I'll be starting it like, like a normal stream at 11 o'clock. We will we will start we will start with just the basics rundown of what's gonna happen, and then I will just go into it and we will see what happens. Um, I hope you guys will join me. Um, starting I believe next week I will be putting a donation link in all in any of my videos on YouTube, and I will also be putting a donation like little donation thing in the in my Twitch in my actual streams. So that you guys can donate to me if you wish to support it. I only have a hundred do hundred dollar donation goal, and I am uh, I I have I am going to be donating twenty five dollars into the donation before the stream starts. I probably will be donating more than that, but for now, that's all I'm going to be donating to it right now. But um, the fact the the fact still stands. Um, if you guys want to join me for that, you guys are more than welcome to. We'll have some fun. <laughs> we'll do some fun. We'll do some fun shit. We'll have some fun. Templar forces at Space Harbor. I have to go. No, please wait, Zero. I don't want to see you two fight. Someone has to stop your brother. <laughs> I'm leaving. This the the beginning of the end. So. Holy shit, we've only... The stream's only been going for 40 minutes? Are you shitting me? <laughs> we've actually done... We've actually made pretty good progress. But at the same time, I also know that... Um, 
the reason it took us so long to get as far as we did in the first place was the fact that early game zero is just... He's hard to play. He's hard to play. Early early game zero is hard to play because you don't have any movement options. So make, so getting yourself getting around the uh, getting around the stages and fighting some of the Mavericks or some of yeah some of the Mavericks just it sucks. And jump did not work. <laughs> I do like the fact that this this entire stage is just a bit is just a is just a lead up to the fight with um with the colonel. I think the game glitched. No, it didn't. <laughs> thing I hate about this game was the fact that you there were times where you would have enemies above you and you had to kind of guess where the fuck they were now this fight in my opinion is extremely fun against when you're playing as zero because playing with X it just kind of feels like you're basically fighting him a second time except he's more powerful than the last time this one it feels like this is the fight that you've been waiting for I don't want to fight Step back. I'm sorry. I can't let you through. Iris will be sad if she loses you. Don't be presumptuous, Zero. Save it until you've defeated me. I'll show you no mercy. Mercy. Now get ready. Now get ready. Okay, I'm using it. I'm just gonna use the small one. Just enough to get me a little bit more health. Oh shit, I was too far. <laughs> like I said, I love this fight because the fact that the only thing that would make it better is that if he actually used his sword to fight. Like if he actually came after you with his sword. That's what would make this fucking fight Show amazing. Me what you've got. Show me what you've got. Yeah. 
Worst part is, is I'm fucking too overzealous. of zero but it's too late what Repliforce has left for the space for the space even if I perish Repliforce li Repliforce lives Colonel Zero tell Iris that her brother died happily goodbye Zero Colonel Like I said, uh, I love that fight, but I, cause I, cause I, I feel, cause if you get hit by anything in that fight, it's your own fault. Whereas a lot of the other fights in the game, there's a little bit of randomness to it. His attacks are actually heavily te telegraphed. They never change. If he teleports to the center, he's going to use his thing. If you see him jump to the side, he's going to use the, he's going to use the, the ground, the ground attack. If he teleport, if he teleport, if he teleport, if he teleports, if he teleports, chances are he's going to be teleporting right on top of you to do a, a, a knockback attack. So you basically you so it's it's basically if you get hit, it's your own fault. And that's how I've always seen it. They've left for outer space. Scramble all Maverick Hunters! Iris? Where are you? Iris! She left with them? No! Maverick Hunters! Scramble! I'm on my way! Don't do this to me, Iris. Okay, we're in the final stretch. What I'll, what I'll probably do is I'll probably do the final... I'll probably do this, uh this part because i believe it goes from here i believe you have you fight you fight you fight iris spoiler alert you fight uh you fight the um not colonel you fight the general and then you teleport to the second part you you that's after that this start this the first part of this ends and then you do the uh, maverick the maverick um the boss rush the boss rush the boss rush followed by the fight with sigma which if you guys didn't figure this fucking if you, if you have not heard anything about Mega Man X you're gonna fight fucking sigma at the end Fuck you, dude. The only problem with this is that the lead up to the fight. Uh, do you start from here? I forget. Yeah, this fight, the fight with the fight with Iris, is actually, in my opinion, the tougher of the two fights. Iris. So, you fought with my brother. I'm sorry. Then it's over. Everything. Wait, Iris, listen to me. Goodbye, Zero. Iris! Okay. I'll do it.
Okay, using it. Using it. Pop it. Booyah. Yeah, this... I always hated this fight with Zero because of the fact that the first half of the fight, or the first, like, and... Okay, cutscene. Iris! Iris! Horrible English Sarah. dummy. Hang in there, Iris. Please, stay away from Replifoss. Let's live together in a world where only Reploids exist. Iris, there's no world just for a Reploid. It's only a fantasy. Yes, I know, but I wanted to believe it. I wanted to live in a world where only Reploids exist with you. Iris! Oh. Iris! 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 No, this isn't happening! There's no reason for me to go on! What? What am I fighting for? <laughs> I'm sorry. I love the fucking English dubbing. It's fucking stupid. <laughs> oh, it's so fucking stupid. Okay, and this is the part where you fight the fucking colonel. You fight the fucking colonel here. Or not the colonel, the fucking general. I was fucking misunderstanding him. You fight the fucking general here. Now here is where you have two choices. You can either go down or go up. I don't remember which one is which, so we're gonna go down. Oh. I think I made the wrong... No, I made the right choice. Because going up, you have to deal with spikes. I'd rather deal with bottomless pits. one of those you fall down one of those pits in this area and you base and you actually gain the ability to fight or you gain the ability to get zero's black armor and x's final armor ultimate armor yeah because right here it depends on determining which one you go for like i said it's either if you go bottom if you're bottom you have to deal with the pits if you go up you have to deal with spikes the pits, you get the you get the right armor to actually at least help you fight. The spikes, you don't get shit. Now this fight is actually kind of bullshit to try to fucking fight against. Uh, it's a fucking it's a fucking nightmare in my opinion. General, many died because of you. Those lives are on your conscience. Independence always has a high price. What about Iris? Did you forget her? I have no regrets. Come on, Zero. It was our destiny to fight. I fucking forgot. I fucking hated this fight. I fucking hate this fucking fight. Shit in me, you fucking piece of fucking shit. 
I fucking hate this. I really do. I always hated this fight. Mainly because of the fact that you have to hit him in the fucking head. And trying to hit him in the fucking head is a fucking pain in the ass. It's a pain in the fucking ass when you're trying to fight him at zero. It really is. It's a pain in the fucking ass. I might have to call the, I might have to chuck this one up to a fucking loss. The worst part is that you have to hit him in the head, but you can't hit touch his body. If you hit him in the, you have to hit him in the head, but you can't touch his body. That's the biggest issue with that fight. <laughs> Oh shit. <laughs> I always hated this fight. This reminds me of Sigma from, from Mega Man My X1. My fate is sealed. I have no choice. You, sir, are a fucking dick. See, even, even that doesn't actually hit him. With X, you at least have... With X, you at least have some fucking... Yeah, like I said, the worst part about fighting him is the fact that you pretty much as zero, you have to wait for you have to wait for that moment when he jumps down, when he drops down. Because if you don't, you can't hit him. You can, but you're going to take so much fucking damage trying. You're better off waiting for when he does that, dashing over top of him and spinning over him. You'll hit him twice, which will give you some points. My fate is sealed. I have no choice. My fate is sealed. I have no choice. Come on, bitch. Come on. Like the game designers realize that you can't fucking tight him normally, so they fucking they programmed him to fucking do this so you can fight him as zero. Fuck, man. Oh shit. I forgot about this. I forgot about that side. Come on. Go ahead. I'll fucking take the fucking hits. Booyah. I'll fucking take them. I really don't fucking care at this point. I, I, I'll be honest with you. I fucking should have died. <laughs> if he would have actually fought like if he would have actually fought me, I could have I would have lost probably. What is this? What is this? What happened? No. This weapon can't be working. General, what's wrong? Someone else is controlling it. Then, Earth's in grave danger. It must be stopped. I'll handle this. That was part one. Now on to part two. We might beat Sigma. 
Because Sigma, I, I, I actually remember some of, I remember some of Sigma's patterns in the first game, or in this game. And his patterns aren't that fucking bad in this game compared to some of the other ones. <coughs> Especially considering he's part, he, his, his first, his first, his first form actually suffers Spark Mandrel Syndrome. <laughs> like, bad Spark Mandrel Syndrome. It's fucking, it's fucking funny. I will say, I do like the fact that in this, in this game, instead of making you do all this shit, it basically gives you, um, it basically does the boss ray, boss rush, and then you fight Sigma. I might just kill myself, so I have two fight lives going into fighting Sigma. I think I might just do that, just so I have two lives going in. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. I'll just kill myself. That way, I have two, I have two lives going into the fight. Come on, let's go. Because you have to fight. I believe you have to fight all these guys every time. Plus, going into the fight with Sigma with two lives, I can hit this. I can go to stage select. I can go to Walrus, and I can get some lives. You know what? That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to fucking go into Walrus. I'm going to get a few lives. Exit out, and then we'll go from there. We're going to, we're going to, I'm going to stock up on some lives before we go into this fight. Because the one good thing I do like about this game versus all the others is that this game is like the, it's the this one was the very first one that made it so that you didn't have to, you don't have to beat, you don't have to beat, um, you don't have to beat the Sigma Fortress or the final level in one go. Once you save, once you save, you are at this part from this point forward. And I believe you can have nine lives. Actually, now that I think about it, there is a uh, there's an item here that I need to go after. I'm gonna go after the item real quick on this run. Yeah, you you can only have four lives until you get the special item. Once you get that, it increases your life count. The you the number of lives you can have to nine. I believe it is. Wait, no, I have five lives. And I just killed myself. Fucking A. <laughs> Guys, you didn't see that. <laughs> I, oh my god, I fucking pulled a fucking... I pulled a fucking rookie mistake. Yeah, that gives you, that allows you to have more than four lives. So we're going to go ahead and escape out. No, that allow, that that makes it so that when you start, if you die and you restart, you start with four lives. That's what it was. It's, it allows you to start with four lives instead of the, uh, instead, instead of the normal two. Ready. If you game over, you start with four lives, which... Doesn't sound like a lot, but considering there's, considering when it starts you over, it get basically having four lives means you have four fucking tries. Which we're at the tail end of the game, so all that'll basically give, all that basically gives me is an extra. It gives me some extra fucking leeway that if I actually do fucking die, then I can do this shit a little bit more. So. <coughs> We're gonna do that one more time and then we'll jump into the final level again. Ready. We might beat this game tonight. Actually, if we don't, I'll be fucking pissed. <laughs> I'll be honest. 
Uh, if, if we don't win, if we don't win this game, god damn it, fucking piece of shit. Because this is one of those. This is definitely one of those games where it's that it's this is this. We're at the final stretch because literally we have the boss rush and that is it. The boss rush and then Sigma. The Sigma fight's gonna be the one that's gonna give us the most trouble. go. We're gonna fight the spider, which I don't remember. Like I said, I don't, I, I don't think he has a weakness in this game. I think spider actually has no weakness. Similar to Dragoon. Wait, no, Dragoon does have a weakness. Spider probably has a weakness too, but it's revolved around, it's revolved around, uh, X. Come on, bitch. Oh, yeah. Come on, bitch. Let's go. Come on, bitch. Let's go. You haven't even touched me yet. Goodbye. <sighs> These bosses definitely aren't the easiest in the X series. They're not, but they're they're easy as fuck to read if you know what to look for. Yeah, it's gonna basically be the the hardest boss in the play the hardest boss in the playthrough of the ones that gave me the most trouble early on. Come on, bitch. Come on. Goodbye. 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 Sayonara. <laughs> You're funny. Didn't you know that trick didn't work last time? What made you think it would work again? Another cool thing. That shit respawns. So if you do end up using a fucking health tank, which I might end up having, I might end up doing just because I don't want to waste lives, you can refill your shit. But most of these times I won't be, I, I probably won't be using hardly any life tanks here. This is probably one of the ones that I might use one if I fucking find myself in a fucking position where I might, I'm going to need to. You, sir, are a fucking asshole. Get ready. Come on, bitch. Come on. Not over yet. Uh, you're a fucking asshole. Get ready. Get ready. Like I said, I'll fucking use it. You're dead. You're, you're fucking dead. Ch -ch -ch. K. 
Come on. Oh, we got the fight with Dragoon. Let's go, Dragoon. He's like the one character, and that's the thing. I think the funny, the coolest thing about it is the fact, is the fact that the way he's actually modeled, he's actually modeled after Akuma. Get ready! Take it! He's actually modeled after Akuma. If you actually watch his his uppercut, his uppercut looks a whole looks a lot like Kin Master's Shoryuken. He uses his fucking fireballs. He actually, if you actually pay attention, he says, Haruken! Haruken! Shoryuken! Like, it, he doesn't actually say that, but he's actually modeled after um, Ryu and Ken. With those abilities. Because those are the abilities he uses the most. Yeah, we're going to go for... I think this is Stingray. I think this is Stingray. Nope, this is, uh, this is this motherfucker. This motherfucker actually becomes a cakewalk once you have his weapon. His weapon makes this fucking fight a joke. Like I said, this is... His weapon makes this fight a joke. And the jo the fight was already a joke before. Goodbye. The fight was already a joke before this. That's the worst part about it. <laughs> oh my god. Well, I'm back at full health. And I've already got part of my part of an energy tank right back. Okay. So we're gonna go right here. I think this is uh This is Slash Beast. This might be I might end up having to uh use a health tank on this one. Bitch. Goodbye. Yeah, pretty much the biggest thing with Slash Beast is that you can't is that you can't be afraid of him. A lot of the bosses in this game, a lot of the bosses, the biggest thing about them is that you can't be afraid of their attacks. Like Walrus? Walrus is just a big guy that literally jump up the side, jump over him. You'll never get hit. Plain and simple. As long as you know the tricks and you know how to fucking actually fight them, most of the bosses in this game aren't that difficult. Certain bosses are difficult with certain characters. Like, for example, the general with zero. 
Fighting the general of zero is kind of a is actually kind of a pain in the ass because of the fact that you don't have any abilities to actually hit him if he doesn't come down to you. Booyah, bitch. Booyah, bitch. Come on, bitch, come on. Booyah. Booyah. Fuck you. Guess what? I'll use your own fucking move against you. <laughs> I'll beat you with your own fucking move. Booyah, bitch. <laughs> uh, I fucking love this game. We're at the final boss. This one's the actual... I think this one actually might be... It's not going to be the easiest, but it's going to be a lot easier this time around versus before. Because with our... Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's stupid. It's fucking stupid. This is actually how you fight him with X. If you want a fucking good if you want a fucking easy victory, this is how you spend this is how you fight him with X. Because X is Because X's ability actually forced his X's ability hides him short, shortly above him. You hover and then activate your crystal. So you basically just stand right here and you'll hit him every time. It's stu it's fucking stupid. It really is. It really is. It's stupid. But that's how that 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 he ha he's he literally suffers from Spark Mandrum Mandrill Syndrome. If any other boss, the only other bosses that, do the big bosses that do are um, him, and or him, and Walrus. The only difference is, is that Walrus actually, actually him, Walrus and Sp um, Peacock. Peacock, it's a little bit harder to activate because of the fact that you have to you have to use the flame to actually hit him, which will tell make him which will make him disengage. And come back. But he is the same. He, he is literally the closest Spark Mandrill as you can possibly get in this game. Because of the fact that he will actively he will act he will he'll he'll teleport down to the same location every time. So you can just jump up, pop. You got him. Pop up, pop. You got him. Pop up, pop. You got him. Okay. You guys ready for the final boss? Because I'm not. <laughs> Good work, Zero. You're Sigma. So it was you. <laughs> yes. Simply brilliant. You even defeated Colonel and Iris. You made me do it. No. You wanted to destroy them. Allow me to remind you that I was the one was once the leader of the Maverick Hunters. What's our current situation? Commander! Where's that red maverick that wiped out Gamma's unit? In inside. He's inside that door. You may leave.
leave now. I'll take care of this personally. By yourself, Commander? I don't want any more of my people being sacrificed. Fucking ain't his voice. So fucking. I think this is us recently awakened zero. So this was still, this is the Zero that was programmed to destroy Dr. Light and Mega Man. Which, in the actual series, it would have meant he was, he was destroy, destroy Mega Man X. Right there is where pretty much everything went to shit. Right there. Look, it's Commander Sigma. Incredible. Now I'm certain there's no one who's a match for the Commander. What? Take that red maverick to the repair center and, and call Dr. Kane. I wish to have that maverick studied. <sighs> Commander, are you okay? Silence! <sighs> Like I said, it was right at that moment because what because what was actually possessing Zero was an actual Maverick. He was an actual Maverick at that time, and the virus that he actually had infected Sigma at that moment. Sigma was powerful enough not to actually act on it, but that's a lot of that's actually that's actually kind of it's actually kind of ironic that. Sigma, that in that moment, Sigma became became a Maverick himself because of Zero. Zero, you were a Maverick. What's your point? Are you that surprised? Ah, Zero, you're most impressive. Sigma, I will defeat you. I do like that they give you full health and energy before you go into Are this fight. Are you plane. ready for your final journey? I fucking hate this. Yeah. 
is fucking stupid. Yeah, round one is stupid easy. It's round two that he actually pulls. It becomes kind of bullshit. I've been waiting for you, Zero. It's time for us to settle this! Forgot about that. God damn it. Well, the biggest issue is that I, I took too long. I, I fucking didn't figure out his fucking attack. His attack patterns on the first form. His first form is basically it's Spark Mandrill Syndrome. Beyond compare. The only problem is that he actually has another attack that he does. Tremble with terror. You are finished. <laughs> Road. Goodbye. 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 Are you ready for round two? Go ahead and activate that. Now, I don't know, I know there's one more stage after this, but I don't know if there's a final one after that. <laughs> You're finished, Zero. Iris is waiting for you. Prepare to become space dust. Fucking hey, I forgot about that shit. Yeah. Oh, fuck. <coughs> yeah, basically, Tremble basically the strategy is in the second round. The second round, the strategy is physically you want to you you get behind him when he does his initial spin, you attack him once. And then you jump onto the side. Because jumping onto the side, he'll throw his thing at the side. When he'll, he'll jump to the far corner to activate his laser beams. The laser beams are a lot easier to dodge than the fucking boomerangs. Especially if you're dealing with the fucking boomerangs while trying to avoid the fucking things on the bottom. Okay, activate it again. 
And he should come to the right. right. There. And I should beat him this time. If I don't, it'll be fucking miracle. Are you ready for round two? Okay. Like I said, round, round one and two aren't actually that bad. It's round three that actually come, becomes actually kind of difficult. Only because of the fact that you're basically in a position where you have to kind of, you have to think on the fly. <laughs> you're finished zero. Are you ready for your final journey? Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and activate the energy so we actually have an idea of what... Yeah, we got fucked there. Because I completely forgot about that. Okay, the worst part about this fight is that it resets every time. And the third form will fuck you. It really you will. It'll bend you over journey? and fuck you. Yeah. It should come to the right. Because based, it's all based on where you're at when he after they hit the second hit. If you're left of center, he'll go right. That's all it basically is. It's all based on where you are from center. Okay. Are you ready for round two? We're going into the third round. We're going into the third fight with full health. That's good. That's real fucking good. <laughs> Prepare to become space dust. Go. 
ya. Son of a bitch, that's bull. How much damage, god damn. Did you guys see how much damage that fucking did? That actually fucking pisses me off a little bit. That was a bullshit, that was bullshit right there. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Prepare to become space dust. Prepare to become space dust. <laughs> Booyah, bitch. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Booyah, come on. Booyah, bitch. Booyah, bitch. Come on, let's do it again. Mambo! Mambo, motherfucker! Mambo! Are you ready for round two? Bye bye. The only pro, the only the issue with the with round one and two is that they just take a while. It's pretty much every Mega Man X game in general. It's just it, they take forever to actually just set up. <coughs> Prepare to become space dust. Let's go! Come on. Like I said, the worst, the only problem with this fight is the fact that his forms just, they do so much damage. That's the only problem, and it's its like that in every game. In every game, his forms do a lot of damage, and you just, you have nothing, you can't just, you just can't fucking deal with it. terror, you are finished. Let's go, come on. Oh yeah, bitch. Come on, do it again. There we go, come on. 
Come on, bitch. Let's do this again. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Hurry this fucking shit up. I got places to be. Mavericks to fucking kill. Namely you. getting greedy. Why the fuck am I getting fucking greedy? I'm getting fucking greedy with these attacks. What the fuck is wrong with me? We got fucking issues here. Um, space dust. Shitting me. God damn, the worst part about that. Oh my god, just how long he fucking charges that fucking shit. Okay, guys, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna, I'll, I'll finish off the stream trying two more times. I've got three more lives. I'll try it a few more times. If I can't beat him, I will be doing a bonus episode, and I'll be throwing it up just on YouTube. Um, do you guys that watch me on Twitch, go to Weird dust. YouTube and watch it there. But that's that's going to be the plan. Because I'm not going to stay here too much longer, because I have to work in the morning. <laughs> I have to go to work in the morning. And this, this, this fight, it's not... I'm not expecting this fight to take too much longer. It's just going to be a fact. I'm just going to have to partially get lucky. Partially get lucky on the first... On the, fir, on, on, the, on the third phase. And two, I just need to memorize the fucking patterns. That's all it is. Because a lot of those... A lot of those are... They're, they're easy to fucking counter. It's just... If I get hit, I'm dead. <laughs> You piece of shit. 
asshole. <laughs> Problem is that he has technically two health bars. Are you ready for your final journey? You fucking assholes. Fucking hey, god damn. Just the amount of fucking damage he does. Holy shit. I think, I think when he says the end, I think I might actually be able to dodge. By going low, by going high. By going high, I might be able to dodge it. I'm gonna try that next. I'm gonna try that this time. Are you ready for your final journey? <laughs> I love how he try how like he how he he basically because he thinks he's the fucking Grim Reaper with this shit. I fucking love it. Ooh, fuck me. What the fuck was that? That was a ba that was bad. <laughs> the game uh apparently didn't want me to dash. It really didn't fuck me. You're dead. Goodbye. Are you ready for round 2? That's the one thing I love about this is that Sigma can't beat can't beat you one on one, so he resorts to oh he always resorts to using like the giant mechanical body. That's how pretty much all Mega Man games this thing to end. They always end with like some with like the main bad guy can't beat you normally, so he uses like a big giant mechanical body to try to beat you. I think it's hilarious. I think there's only there's only I think there's only been one Mega Man game that has not done that. And I think that was Mega Man Zero Three, and that's because you actually you fight. I think Mega Man I think in Mega Man Zero Three you actually fight him, or you fight Tremble your you terror. fight your you doppelganger. Finished. Okay, I can. I just hate the fact that you you're very much guaranteed to take a fucking hit there. 
Oh, you actually only take damage if you're on the ground. Okay. Okay, that was actually easy to dodge. Okay, that's good. Okay, so I pretty much just have to stay over in this area. Blizzard's actually the easiest one to fucking dodge. I'll be honest. Damn it! Hit, hit, hit. The blue one and the red one are actually easy to deal with if you're on the left side. Because the blue one, you can literally just pop your thing and jump right them up. Right up. The red one, you just have to do your fucking uppercut. You fucking take them the fuck out. The worst part about that is that you have, is it requires you to be able to get the fuck away, but you basically can't get away fast without hitting those spikes, and you're basically dead. Yep. I, there was nothing I could do. There was nothing I could fucking do at that point. Yep, I fucking wasted that fucking healing. <laughs> Okay, guys. Like I said, this will be my this will be my final round. I will put up a video either tomorrow or Saturday up on YouTube, you and we finished. will have this beat. Um, at this time, I don't know if I will actually be doing a second playthrough with just an X. I think I am. Cons I think I will consider doing it just because the fact that it's. It's something that if you play Mega Man X4, you kind of have to experience both sides of the story. Because X actually does do certain things that... He actually does fight certain things. He, he, he fights Colonel twice. And he actually has his own partner called Double. That he fights instead of Iris. And Double is actually a agent of Sigma that's there to keep an eye on X so that he doesn't interfere too much in the plans. Because I believe in this game, the entire... The actual story of the game revolves around Zero more than anything. Like, X is the main... X is a character, but the story actually isn't about him. It's actually not about him. It's more about Zero. Because this sets up, because this game canonic, canonically sets up why Zero is 
where he, why he's, why he is here, why he's as powerful as he is, why he's as powerful as X, and why there's been, why there's been, why, why Zero is one of the characters that people have been trying to bring back and all that kind of shit in Mega Man X2. It's because Zero is just as powerful as X. Zero was designed to kill the original Mega Man. And Mega Man was designed designed to overcome pretty much any was it was designed Mega Man was designed in order to was was designed to basically overcome any threat because of the fact that with the robots that were designed they were designed with all these different adaptions in mind that's why Mega Man was designed the way he was why he did that X used Mega Man as a base but he was also the but he was also designed with the ability to to think and have free will. Zero was designed to kill the original Mega Man. He was designed to be the guy, it was designed to be the robot that could destroy Mega Man. So he was outfitted with the same technology in order to basically learn how a foe fights and dissect them. While he was not given free will like X was, by being with X, he started developing his own version of the free will. His own version of free will, similar to similar to a lot of other. That's the bad part. That's the worst part about it. Well, with that said, guys, we're gonna go. I'm gonna go ahead and call it here. I hate to call the stream with this like it like it is, but like I said, I can't do too much more tonight. So next time we next time we meet, I actually will not be playing Mega Man next next side quest. We will not be doing that because this is the month of the month of October and the month of Halloween. I actually am going to be playing a diff I'm going to be playing a couple of other games. Um, namely, I've got I've, namely I've got a game that is a little bit more on the spooky and creepy side. Um, I will let you guys know what that is, or I, you guys will find out what that is on when next Tuesday when I actually stream it. But I will say that it is kind of it is, it is a very interesting game, and it is it's it's actually extremely good. I have beaten it. Um, it will probably take me a couple weeks to beat because of the fact that I have forgotten all about how to actually play it. But for the time being, Mega Man X4 will we will conclude Mega Man X4 here. Um, at this time, at this time, I don't think I will be doing the X storyline. I think I'm going to go ahead and go on and go to Mega Man X5, considering Mega Man X, Mega Man the X storyline in my opinion, isn't canon to the actual Mega Man X4 story. It's this... Mega Man X4, in my opinion, is about Zero more than anything. So, at a later date, we might come back and do the Mega Man X side of the story, but at least at this time, we're not going to do it. So, with that said, guys, you guys have a wonderful evening, and remember to stay sane. Link to the past Zero, out.